All right, I thought I'd just make a quick little midweek video here um, and talk about a topic that's something I struggle with a lot over the years and not until recent months that I got into the machining stuff that I get better at it. I'm still not great at it, and I know there's a lot of different methods for doing this, and I thought I would put the one up that I'm going to use tonight, but I'd be curious to know what methods you would use to do this, okay? So here's the project. I've got these two linear motion bearings uh, that are going to be part of another project that there'll be a larger video on showing the entire project from beginning to end. But uh, for now, I'll just kind of focused in on this part of it. Um, you see there's four holes in it, and these two bearings are going to be spaced that far apart. And I made this little plate, aluminum. It's three-eighths of an inch. Machined it, uh, milled it down, squared it all up so that it fits on here perfectly. And now I need to transfer those holes, right, from, from, the, you know, from these hole locations to here. So you see there's four M6 threaded, threaded holes in that, okay? They're not through holes either, you know, and that, that really kind of creates the, the difficulty. If they were through holes, it'd be easy. You guys see me use these all the time in the videos, and these are transfer punches, and you can see there's many, many different sizes, and, you know, based on whatever the hole uh, size is, you know, you get one that fits the out, the, you know, the diameter of the hole, and uh, it's got a little center punch in the in the center of it and that'll transfer the hole perfectly through to the other side obviously these not being through no good way to do that so one method is they make uh some i think they're called transfer studs but i'm not 100 percent sure on that and i just made one here just uh you know took a bolt and ground the head off of it on the grinder uh in a drill uh to come up with that so you could you know i could sacrifice four bolts and you know come up with this and get four of them in there and then get the piece laid on top of it you know just right and then uh you know get it clamped on there or just you know hit it with a hammer to transfer the punch marks and then drill from the punch marks uh so anyway going to do a little bit of a, of a different method tonight and uh just going to show you uh, we'll see how well it works first of all and i can't tell you how many projects i've done in the past where i've just kind of tried to you know eyeball it or tried to measure it in some way and didn't get it right holes not in the right spot and you end up you know enlarging the hole rounding it out you know just making a crappy looking bracket so i'm going to try to make this a little nicer than some of the other junk i've done in the past so okay here we go all right so the first thing we want to do is get the uh get this fixtured in here and we're going to use our stop here to push that up against and we're going to use a gauge pin and i have a whole set that i've Bought off eBay, well, I'll say it's a whole set. It's missing a few pins here and there. Uh, bought it really, really cheap. And uh, so you just keep, you know, you keep trying uh, the different sizes here, you know, a couple different ones until you, you know, until you get the one that fits. And the one that ended up fitting is a, uh, 197 thousandths. Uh, 198 thousandths is too big. And so this one just goes right in there. All right. So we have our sweet little uh, all brick keyless chuck here. And uh, so what we do is, uh, well, first of all, we're going to push that up against the stop and then tighten the vise up, the mill vise up. You don't have to, you know, go down on it real tight because all we're going to do is do uh, some setup here. Okay, so we got that fitted up, so we're going to take this out take our setup block out, put a set of parallels in, make sure this is clean. I really need to clean my mill. It's got gunk all over it from doing other projects, but anyway, so we're going to put our, our uh, plate in that we need the holes in. So now it should be in the exact location that, that the holes need to go in. This will be the first time I get a chance to use the uh, stub drill bit set that I bought. And uh, so we, we picked out a drill bit that um, goes, uh, goes just in there perfectly. Try to keep my hand out of the way of the camera. So we'll keep the pin handy because we're going to need that again here in a little bit. Okay, so we got the first hole drilled. We'll take that back out. 
we will put our linear bearing back in. Swap this out with the gauge pin back in. Alright, just to make sure things haven't moved on us. Okay, that goes back in there. So we should just be able to move this over to the right. And you see that goes in there without having to move the y-axis. All right, well, there we go, all finished up. Got a good fit, all the hole locations fit up, and we did a test fit on the actual unit that this is going on, and it works like it should. So, again, we'll show you that in another video. Just uh, this particular video is uh, kind of going into detail about one way to lay out hole locations. Again, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what kind of ways you've done it, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Thanks, bye.